with Rachel Banks, 2015 New Zero Girls Track and Field Athlete of the Year, a Division One state champion in the girls' 800 meter run. Uh, Rachel Ch- Chardon as a program is known so much probably for distance uh not just state champions but you know just uh depth and numbers in the 8 16 and 32 why is that 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 chardon's able to produce that caliber year after year does it start early in the youth program i mean what's the key there yeah um maple leaf track club in chardon is really strong i've been involved with it for five years and that definitely starts people young and i think um the leaders that we've had the past uh 30 years in distance have kept that tradition strong and the coaching as well. Um, On the sprint side too, the coaches are great and the distance coaches are always, they've always been strong and very supportive of everything we do. Now in addition to the eight, uh, you had some really good work in the 16 this year. You had that five flat during the regular season. Getting a five flat in the regular season, was it tough to give up 16 going into the postseason? Yeah, it was. um, Coach Schaefer and I spent a long time discussing the what we would be doing in the postseason, and we decided that we were going to go out to New Balance Outdoor Nationals and run the Emerging Elite Mile, so I do have a chance to break five this year. And, uh, you know, going to state last year, being unable to get on the podium, how much of a motivating factor was that for you just throughout the process into this year's state meet? Yeah, I mean, I think there was there, it was hard to name a day that didn't go by where you didn't think about um, your goals at the end and on June 6, 2015, what you were going to do and to be on top of the podium, um, just through everything, every workout, uh, coaches always know what to say and how to say, you know, are you going to beat them or are you not? Because you need to step up in this workout and this is what's going to get you there. So, Just because of the, the caliber that we're seeing anymore in distance, like, you know, we saw, I think, four 450s in the mile this year. You and Brittany went 207 in the eight. You see a lot of you know sub 11s now in, in the two mile. Is it becoming increasingly difficult in D1 to go for a distance double and to really pursue that as a goal in the postseason? Yeah, um, especially for the Northeast Ohio winds, it's so cold. And when we get down to Jesse Owens, it's about 90 some degrees. <laughs> and um, and there's 45 minutes in between the mile and the 800, so you really don't have that much time. And the the extreme caliber athletes are the ones that can double and do really well. And uh, what's the uh, game plan here for the next uh, couple of weeks? I understand are you going to go New Balance or are you going mm-hmm. where are you headed? Yeah, um, we are going to head out to New Balance in Greensboro, North Carolina, to do the championship 800 and the Emerging Elite Mile. So. Yeah. PRs, welcome in both. Yeah, how much are you looking forward to that opportunity to get a chance to race against that caliber? Yeah, it's really cool, and it's kind of what I was aiming to do this season, to step out onto the national scene and let people know that the Ohio girls, Brittany and myself, are going to be there and going to be strong.